We're okay. coming up, right. how to impress a potential employer. Yeah, from resume building to dressing up for the interview, we've got some tips on how to land that perfect job. All right, there are signs the economy may be looking up, but many are still out of a job. Whether you're actively looking or you just want to plan in your back pocket just in case, it's always wise to be ready. And here to help prepare you is Stacy Garleep, who's the president of Successful Impressions and Best Resume Builder. Good to have you with us this morning. Thank you, Melissa. I'm glad to be here. We were just talking to Dave Cherry about some things during an interview, that awkward silence and what to do about that. But you're here to tell us five, five points, top five things not to do in an interview. Right. So important things to remember about an interview is that that's your opportunity to tell the employer why you're the best fit. So first impressions are important. Wearing inappropriate clothing or jewelry or dressing down for an interview is never the right move. What would be inappropriate, for example? Always, uh, inappropriate would be wearing jeans or shorts or even wearing maybe a polo shirt or a golf shirt. Even though some companies prefer that casual Friday look, dressing for an interview should always be at a higher level. Wearing a suit or a dress shirt or slacks, a blouse, a skirt for a woman. So always go overdressed rather than underdressed. And for a woman, showing too much could also be inappropriate. Definitely. Or wearing too much jewelry because that's something that obviously there's lots of fun jewelry that's out there right now and right. Uh, women tend to maybe put too much jewelry on. The point of the interview is that you don't want to distract from what you're saying. Mm -hmm. So if what you're wearing distracts from what you're saying, right. then you probably need to take it off. Okay. Any, any other thing that we should not do? Definitely, you want to make sure that you don't lose eye contact. Obviously, wandering eyes yeah. are going to be um, perceived as not trustworthy or that what you're saying to the interviewer maybe isn't completely the truth. Mm -hmm. So making direct eye contact is really important. And then I think also just be careful not to use very vague wording in mm. examples. A lot of people go into what I call Miss America mode and do very <laughs> theoretical question answers. So yeah. if I had this position, I would do this. It's always better in the interview process to use specific examples of something you've done in the past that fits that specific behavior the employer is looking for. Okay, so aside from the specific examples, what else should you do? In an Definitely interview? important to use your ability to describe every single thing you did in a story. So mm -hmm. tell them the situation, tell them what activities you did in the situation, and then tell them what the result of the situation was. Specifically, your role in the actual activity is really what's going to make an impact to the employer. All right. And then also, I think it's really important to close the sale. Ultimately, you're selling yourself in an interview. And a lot of candidates sometimes forget that if they don't ask for the job, mm. they may not get it. So at the end of the interview process, it's really important to ask an employer, are there other things that I need to do in terms of training or additional information to secure this position? And show confidence, say, I am the right person for this job. Definitely. You can never be too cocky then? Never. All right. Never. All right, we want to talk about the workshop you're going to be having. Yes, we have two workshops through the University of Phoenix this week. We have one tomorrow night at 6 p.m. at the West Valley Learning Center, mm -hmm. and that's going to be on interview skills. And then we also have a workshop on Thursday night at 6 p.m., on the Hohokam campus of University of Phoenix, and that's going to be on resume building. Great. All right. And those are free, we should mention. So some yes. great help there. Definitely take advantage of that. You can call 480-557-2000 to register and get more information on the free workshop. Again, that number is 480-557-2000. Thank you so much. And also, Melissa, they can go to our website at bestresumebuilder.com for All right. information. There you go, Stacy. Thank you for Thanks. joining us this morning. Thank you. Some great information. Thanks, you too.